If someone with mild cognitive impairment asks me how much time they should spend exercising, I could tell them that right down to the minute. If they want to know how many servings of fruit they should eat, or how many hours of sleep they should get, I can give them a number for that. But what if the question is, how many minutes a day should someone with MCI devote to self-care? I, I don't have an answer for that. But whatever time you spend on self-care, I'm guessing it's not nearly enough. And that's what I want to talk about today. Hi. I'm Tony Deering of GoCogno.com, the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. To go cogno is to defend your brain in a way that gives you the best possible chance of slowing, halting, or perhaps even reversing whatever cognitive loss you're experiencing. It's the basis of my book, I Want My Mind Back, and toward the end of the book, I break it down into seven concepts I call the Go Cogno Credo. I've been doing videos about those, and this is the last in the series, where I address the final O in Go Cogno. It stands for overindulge in self-care. By that, I mean now is the time to put yourself first. You need to be good to you, both in the ways you talk to yourself, and in the ways you take care of yourself. But how good are you actually being to yourself? Could you do more to put yourself first, to treat yourself better? Here's how you find out. You pick a day, and you don't do anything unusual that day. Just what you usually do, but you track the number of minutes that are actually devoted to activities of genuine self-care. I'm not talking about 8 p.m. you crash on the couch and spend the next two hours staring blankly at the TV or scrolling through your Facebook feed. Minutes of empty diversion don't count. I'm talking about things that actively nourish your well-being. Music, meditation, journaling, gratitude, prayer, a hearty laugh, a glass of wine, a walk in the woods. So one day, a regular day, you count the minutes, and the next day, you deliberately add five more minutes of self-care to your day. What you do is up to you, but here are some suggestions courtesy of Mindful Nature Therapies. I can't send this to you, but pause the video and spend a little time with this. You will see so many great ideas. Let these be a healing balm in your life. To get well, treat yourself well. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, as always, be kind to your mind.